Hi folks, it's Rich here, good morning. And uh, it's time for a, a stag review. So just quickly, for those who don't know me, I'm a novice guitarist, important to note. <laughs> I've had 123 guitars though, lots of budget ones and lots of mid-range, but mostly budget. So Stag have very kindly asked me to review three of their guitars, purely based on the fact that I'm not a very good guitarist, but I've had lots of them and hopefully other people can relate. So I can share with you what I think of them versus other you know other other guitars because I've had so many of them so that's why we're here uh, there are lots of other reviews including the additional stag ones which are in my playlist so please have a look at those and like and subscribe if you want to so let's uh, let's get straight into it this one is an SES 30 it's obviously a Strat style guitar you can get these for around about 120 pounds so you're in Harley Benton territory and you're letting your cost less than a Squire so that's a that's a win, isn't it, to start with? This is very pretty. It's a, it's not. I think it's called ice blue, ice blue metallic. It's like a Lake Placid blue kind of style. It looks really really nice in the flesh with aged white pit garden knobs, which is a great compliment to it. So it's got a really stylish sort of look. String through body. It's got a trem on it. Not that I would suggest that you try it because yeah, it's just hard work, isn't it? Especially if you're a beginner. Oh, excuse me. Trying to keep it in tune. It's got 22 frets on a rosewood fretboard. Return of rosewood. Crazy for that money as well. Uh, maple neck, as you'd expect. No name, cheapy kind of tuners. Um, Stag's new logo, which I think looks really cool. You've got the frets themselves on this particular one are quite polished up and quite clean. I think uh, on a lot of budget guitars, it's real hit and miss. So I've reviewed three stag guitars that they've sent to me this one the frets are the most polished but it's the cheapest guitar the telecaster style one they were dirty and not very nice and that was more expensive than this and the ses 60 which is the more expensive track was somewhere in the middle so it's the look of the drawer isn't it uh, it's telling me i've got a bone nut on here which is great if that really is i guess it should be it's not cut brilliantly the, uh, the, the G and the B string are stuck a little bit in it, uh, but there are no sharp fret ends, and that is a big, big plus because, you know, on these lower end guitars, that is something that isn't very nice if you've got sharp frets. You don't want that, so that's good. Uh, heel joint, like all of them, really good. Helps you get further up the neck to, uh, to the higher frets, which is a nice feature. I've forgotten to tune it. I've played, I've played it a, bit, a fair bit, this. Oops. Is it still in tune? No. So we'll have a quick tune up. One thing I would like to say about this, if you're going to stand up and play it, this suffers badly with neck dive. And that is to say, you've got your strap on and it does this. Which is a bit of a shame. It's a Paulina body. Uh, which, and it's very light, this guitar as well. I weighed it, it's 2.4 kilos. Very, very light. Um, but but the balance of the guitar is, is a bit off. Um, so that's one thing to note. The tuners are a bit grim, but you're going to get that on budget guitars as well. Again, if you're starting out playing at home, you know, that's not absolutely the end of the world. So I've got all the... Oh, and one other thing. Sorry, have I, have I said this already? I've just my pick. Pick it up, Richard. <laughs> uh, neck on this is pretty fat, actually. Fatter than I thought it would be. For this kind of guitar not too bad here but it's, it's quite it's pretty girthy you know both width here and uh I'm having the top here it's a pretty girthy pretty girthy neck so i'm not going to worry massively that this is not mega in tune these strings look old on it it's, it's one of the the sales guy. It's, it's one of his demo guitars. It's, the strings are a bit old, and the nut's not absolutely perfect. So let's not worry too much.
tone knobs are a little bit top mid from bottom. They're not they don't graduate brilliantly, but that's also to be expected of other guitars in this price range and higher to go. One thing that's surprising, but is a good thing, the bridge pickups on cheap, well not just cheaper straps, on a lot of straps, can be really sharp and shrill and bite and bitey. On this one, it is still bright, but it's not, it's not ear piercingly bright. It's, it's, it's actually far more pleasing. I mean, on a Squire Bullet on the bridge, that bridge pickup's a bit, it's not very usable, but but on here, it's actually pretty good, which surprises me. So that's a win. I don't know what kind of pickups they are. Uh, the single coils are probably ceramic. So, just a quick playthrough, nothing crazy. My thoughts on this are, well, the two, two things on this win, win for me for like £120. I, I love the look of it. I mean, sparkly metallic, like placid blue style with, with uh, parchment, mint greeny sort of, you know, pit guard and matching scratch uh, cavity plate. That's awesome. <laughs> the rosewood board. It's actually pretty dark and it's got really nice grain on that. So the overall look of it, I know this is totally subjective and personal. I think it looks really good and great to have that heel joint as well, just to help you get up here a, a little bit easier. But the big win and the surprising win, and I've played this a fair bit. So I've got, you know, rather than just this quick demo, the pickups. I think the pickups on this are, are better than the price would allude to. I don't know why. Well, I mean, they're all set up pretty even in terms of the height, how it reacts with the body, wood maybe, I, I don't know what, what the actual pickups are. I prefer the pickups on this to the SES 60, which is like about 200 pounds. So it's, yeah, the pickups are great in this. If I had 120 quid and I wanted to get a Squire bullet, which are about 120 quid actually as, as well, would I get a bullet or would I get this? That's a tricky one. I think they're as good as each other, but they're different. The bullet's got a thinner neck. It doesn't have neck dive. So if you're going to stand up. Um, and to, you know, is branding important to you? Do you want Squire because it's made by Fender? However, on the, on the, on the other side of that, do you want a rosewood fretboard? Personally, I would. I really don't like Indian laurel. It looks much nicer. These pickups are better to my ears, uh, and you've got a cool look. So, I think they're I think they're on you know they're on par with each other, but for different different reasons. So it depends what you want. But yes, overall, uh, another really good product. So well done, Stag.